This morning we had a few showers to start the day. Some rough weather happened overnight across the southeast, but largely dying off before it made its way into our area. So mainly just rain for us. And on action radar this evening, the live scans are showing that we mainly have dry conditions now. A few showers though will be possible as we do head into the overnight, but most of the activity that we had earlier in the day is off to the east, heading toward the coast and the low country of South Carolina and the coastal empire of Georgia. So looking fairly good for tonight if you want to head out to the National Peanut Festival. Temperatures on the mild side, 60s and 70s, and it will not be cooling off very much as we do head into the overnight hours. A few more showers will be possible once we get past midnight, but then the higher rain chances will be back as we head through the later part of tomorrow into the afternoon and evening, and those rain chances will remain elevated as we head through Friday, and we won't see any real changes to that forecast until we get to the weekend when we'll be looking at a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures will be pretty nice, but conditions will be dry finally. Here's the temperature trend for the next few days. We'll be in the 70s, cooling up in the 60s for the weekend as that system clears out of the area. That will be bringing us the rain Wednesday, Thursday, and into Friday. High pressure is just to our north, but this front that's over us now is stalling out, so really that drier air is not going to be moving in. This area of low pressure over Texas, that's going to help to bring in another wave of moisture to help us have those uh, high rain chances as we do head through the day tomorrow for tonight. Clearing out as far as the rain chances out toward Tallahassee, maybe some patches of some heavy rain. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll have a few showers developing after sunrise with a southerly breeze bringing in that Gulf moisture. Temperatures will be in the 70s for highs with that uh, scattered rain. And then as we head into the afternoon and evening hours, that's when we do have the chance of having some uh, heavy rain and even some thunderstorm activity. But the good news is we do not have the severe weather threat this go around, which is a nice change for us across the southeast. We can really use a break from that as we head through the day on Thursday. We starting out on the dry side. Then we'll go through that same type of pattern. Once we get past lunchtime, the showers and storms will start to pick up with those highs in the 60s and lower 70s. Closer to home for tonight, we'll be looking at the best rain chance to our southeast. And as we head through uh, the first part of tomorrow, the cloud cover will be thick again. There's that shower activity developing for us with those highs in the 70s. If you see a slightly drier day, those highs could be a little bit closer to 80 degrees, but I think it's a pretty sure bet that will be in the middle to upper 70s. And then in the later afternoon and evening hours, that's when those rain chances will really start to pick up as more or less another frontal boundary, a of low pressure starts to move into the area and then clearing out as we head into the early morning hours on Thursday. But then that same pattern sets up with the rain developing in the later part of the day. For tonight, 66 degrees for that low temperature, so pretty mild for us with those passing showers. And then for tomorrow, storms will be likely as we head into the later part of the day and early evening hours. Elevated rain chances Thursday, Friday, uh, well, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday drying out for us, so looking pretty good. A mix of sun and clouds for the week. Again, the final day of the National Peanut Festival looks to be pretty good. Upper 60s for high temperatures. Monday and Tuesday, rain chances return with some cool air coming in to the Wiregrass. 59 degrees for the high some on Tuesday. Cool